Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my countdown to Christmas. I'm doing car builds. My car's just pulled up. Oh yeah, that looks sweet. I love the look of this WRX. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. So that was the car in the last episode. Uh, it drifts very well. It's a little bit sluggish on transitions, etc. But expect it from a car that weighs uh, quite a bit. So that's that. Um, and on to the next thing. Uh, I just want to say there is a giveaway on my channel so if you go back through my videos you'll see a giveaway it ends on Friday so you got enough time to get there and uh, apply for the giveaway but that's all I had to say basically um, also in the comments below uh, leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode and leave a theme if, uh, with it if you want there to be a theme um, aka um, slammed um, but that's that. Um, also, if you see a co another comment with a car that you kind of fancy, uh, thumbs that comment up. It's the comment with the most thumbs up uh, that will get chosen. So, last episode, um, there was quite a few comments. I uh, appreciate the support on this series. Absolutely amazing. Um, so, top rated comment was from Brendan Lau. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh, but he says, FD spec, 2JZ swapped, Toyota GT86. Okay, so this is going to be mad. Like... A 2JZ SWAT GT86. FD spec as well. FD spec, you're talking, let's say, 600 plus horsepower. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of power. Um, so we're going to have to work with that. Um, but yeah, let's jump and get the car. Okay, so there it is. Toyota GT86. It's C-Class uh, to start off with. A very attractive car. I do like this car. Um, obviously, it's... Um, the car that is the same as the Sion FRS and the same as the Subaru BRZ, but correct me if I'm wrong uh, there, but I think that is true. Um, so we want this FD spec. Um, there's a rocket bunny paint that could be quite cool. Um, oh, yeah, you can see kind of like the arches on that one, uh, but mm, FD spec. We want a nice kind of team paint, but there doesn't seem to be any on the on this top page. Uh, so. That could be quite cool. Should we go into that? Um, or maybe something like this. A little bit more little bit more kind of casual uh, compared to an FD version. Uh, it's got carbon parts. Uh, it's got some stickers up the side. Maybe not what you'd see in the FD, but... Yeah, a little bit more chilled out, I guess. Okay, so we've jumped into the upgrades here. Uh, we're going to go and slap in the engine to start off with. Um, I believe it's the 3.0 i6 TT um, so let's put that in uh, what horsepower does that put 320 horsepower but it's made us a class already which is absolutely insane um, let's have a quick look at the aspiration it's got stock twin turbo do we single turbo charge it um, I'm feeling it because it pushes up the horsepower a lot so I'm gonna go for that single turbo charger it's on um, drivetrain swap we won't have to do that because it's already rear wheel drive so FD spec car we're going to go for some very nice body kits, I think. Um, FD spec is kind of... kind of, It's not got the slam to look. It's got more of a race kind of look like that. But it's not as as, um, as deep as that. So maybe like this, a G-Ready. Um, very attractive bumper, I'm not going to lie. Oh, my controller works for once. Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, it's got the nice um, cannons on the front. Um... Wow, this car weighs a lot. 1,300 kilos. Maybe, it was, maybe it's the engine. Um, okay, so we need a big spoiler. This is um, FD spec. Most FD cars have a massive spoiler, so it's got to happen. Um, do we go with the G-Ready, Greddy, or do we go with the or the Forza owned? I, I'm thinking the, the Greddy version. How do people actually say that? Do they say G-Ready or Greddy? Um, I normally say G-Ready. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what the proper name for it is. Okay, so onto the rear bumper. Um, I do like the ings on the rear. Uh, but the thing with the rear, it's got these little cannons with the, the Greddy version. So, do you know what? Let's go with the ings. Uh, ings is going on. There we go. Little mix and match of the bumpers here. Um, onto the side skirts. Uh, Ooh, I don't think we kind of need those kind of side skirts to be honest. We just want some nice simple ones. Uh, C West seems to be. No, let's let's go the the Greddy, G Ready, however you want to say it. <laughs> so let's slap those on. 
Um, they match together quite well, to be fair. Kind of like that. So onto the bonnet. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need the cooling in there. We're gonna have to have the, that mesh bit for the cooling, because seeing as we're gonna be running um, a lot of power, uh, it's gonna be insane. So that's looking absolutely sweet already. I love the way that looks. That's insane. Um, so that is that. Um, so now we go onto the drivetrain. Everything in here is going to be race, basically. Um, so if you want to quickly go through that, then do it. Um, one thing I will, will say about this car, I kind of like that sticker bomb on the on the front wing. I'm not going to lie. It kind of goes well with the... It's like a racy kind of look. Uh, but obviously FD spec, it does look a little bit racy. Uh, but this just adds a little effect to it. So I'm going to do the differential here. That is race. Um, so now we're onto platform and handling. Um, I think everything in here is going to be race as well. I uh, just want to see how it goes. So the weight is slowly coming down, but there's so much weight in this car for some reason. Why does it weigh so much? So we want to do that. We want to put the springs and damper. I just realised I haven't done tyres and rims. <laughs> oh, what? I just I was looking at the rims. I was like, why do they look surprisingly small? Uh, but it's because I've missed it out. Oh god. Uh, so everything in here is going to be race probably. Um, nice roll cage in there. And weight reduction which should help a lot. Hopefully. Um, let's have a look. 1,100 kilo. That's better. Slowly getting the weight down. Okay so that's that. And let's jump back to the tyres. <laughs> some reason I bypassed it. Um, but I'm feeling stock tyres. I know we're going to have a lot of power. But I want these tyres to spin very nicely. And we could just lower the tyre pressures, etc. To try and get some more grip if we do need it. So I'm going to stick with stock tyre compound. But what I am going to do is upgrade the tyre whips. Uh, this is 245. 255. Let's go 245 on the front. And hopefully on the rear we can get about 265s. Uh, we can get 265s. There we go. So let's slap those on. Okay. So now we're on to rims. Um, very weird colour. Um, I'm thinking rotors on this car. I think rotors are really going to suit this. Uh, where are they? There they are. Uh, gone past it. No, gone past it again. Okay, so they don't suit it, but them. They're the ones I'm thinking. And they, with a bigger rim size, I think they're going to look absolutely amazing on this car. Um, so let's slap those on. Uh, let's just take it up. Just, just one on the rim size, we don't want to go don't want to go too hard um, and make it look a little bit stupid a little bit ridiculous so let's just go 18 inch there uh, so this car is looking very very attractive wow that looks amazing I don't even want to drift it I just want to sit here and look at it <laughs> so yeah onto the power um, let's slap loads of upgrades on here I'm feeling everything raced we might as well just go all out uh, FD spec which is uh, they run a lot of power, but obviously there's some cars in FD uh, without a lot of power, but do you know what? Let's go with the big boys. Why not? Uh, let's go in. So I'm going to put mostly everything race, I think. Um, this will probably be my most powerful car I've tuned on this game so far. Which is going to be crazy. 586 horsepower already. Uh, one thing I might not do is the turbocharger. Because if I upgrade the turbocharger, it could push it a little bit too far. Uh, but 645 horsepower. What? Uh, but should we go all out? Should we just do the turbocharger? Why not? Why not, huh? Um, a lot of people like to limit to 600. Like I normally do. But it's your guy's suggestion here um, to do FD spec. Which I could have kept it below 600. Um, like uh, some real life cars. But why not? Some people in FD run... 1,200 brake horsepower, so why not, huh? 1,000! 1,000 horsepower! That adds 304 horsepower. Now that is crazy. I don't think we're going to go all balls out here. Uh, I'm kind of tempted though. But 1,000 horsepower is a lot of power. What? <laughs> Shall I do it? I don't, know, I don't know if to do it. Fuck it. Let's just do it. I think Dai Yoshihari's car, which is a Subaru BRZ, um, I think he runs around 1,000 horsepower mark. So we're basing it on his car, let's say. <laughs> so that's that. Um, 
I'm kind of thinking about the tyre compound now. Uh, maybe stock tyre compound could be a little bit, a little bit crazy here. Okay, so you can already feel, I can already feel the rear just being an absolute animal. Okay, wow. Okay, um, okay, um, <laughs> it's probably the most power I've had in a drift car on this game so far. So if I do, <laughs> if I do start spinning out and stuff, I am not used to it. I do apologize. So. Tire pressures in the front, they can go to about normal, get the same feeling in the wheel as I do normally do. Uh, I think a tire pressure in the rear can come right down, 26.5, trying to get a little bit more grip in there. That is very short gearing. That is very short. And seeing as we got a very powerful car, um, let's try around there. Okay, camber. Uh, front, let's, let's go about one. Uh, I don't want too much camber on this, seeing as... Seeing as it's got so much power. <laughs> uh, but let's go 1.6 on the rear, see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it goes alright. 5.5 uh, caster. Okay, in the rear, I'm going to bring this up. Okay, springs. Pretty stiff car to be fair. Uh, so let's just take it up a tiny bit. I uh, prefer my cars a little bit stiffer, so there we go. Slap that on. You know, that life. Yeah, that life. So right high, all the... Comp all the way to the bottom. Ooh, bottom. Okay. Rebound seems fine. Uh, let's take the bound down the bump stiffness uh, to just over halfway. There we go. So that's that. Uh, differential. Going 100%. 100%. Why not? Let's go all out. Let's lock that differential. Get as much higher spin as we can get. Okay. There we go. Done. Okay. Let's see if that works. Very bass tune, but. It could work while the tires are just spinning up already. I'm not even pressing the pedals. Like, why did that car have to stop there? What? Okay. I'm feeling maybe stock tires was a little bit um, under kind of. Yeah, I need I need um, upgraded tires. There's just no grit in the rear. I'm just pressing the pressing the pedal down just the smallest amount. And it's just, what am I doing? Um, what I want to do is head over to the hub. For some reason, I thought I go, could go into tune car and just change the tyres, but I was just being an absolute pleb, so. Wow, a lot of power in this car. Okay, we had it a little bit under control there, but obviously with upgraded tyres, it should be a little bit easier, hopefully. <laughs> What? I never go this much power in drift cars. Right, never. Dude. Let me know what you need. Okay, so where's the no, tires? Um, I don't want to go race tires. I hate drifting with race tires. So let's just go sport tires on the rear. Yeah, on the car. Sorry, not just the rear. Um, should go full out on the upgraded tires as well. Let's go for two seven fives in the rear. Just a little bit more grip, hopefully. Uh, let's just upgrade the front to two, two five five. So we're into S two class. That's absolutely insane. What I'm gonna do is just put two hundred ninety five. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> we're into the S two class. I've never drifted a car in this class. I don't think I've drifted the car in the S one class. Like this is insane. Oh, and it's raining just to add on that extra little bit of aids. Okay, so it feels a lot better. Obviously, there's still a lot of power in this car, so this could be a little bit crazy to get this car right. Wow. I think I've got to change my, my drifting style as well to match the, the amount of power in this. I can't even spin around. I've got to be so much less on the, on the throttle. If I get too much on the throttle, I think... This car is gone because there's so much power in it that it just can't control it at all. Well, I can't control it. There's probably someone in the world who's looking at me like, you can't control that car. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the tyres on the front seem about fine. But I'm not even touching the throttle in it as I actually... Wow. It's absolutely mad how much power is in this car. 
Uh, sorry if I can't tune this perfectly. Uh, do apologise, but this is more of a fun car for me. Uh, just something different. Okay, that was quite controlled round there. That was quite good. Um, I'm hardly pressing the pedal. <laughs> okay, one thing. I'm going to change the gear in a lot. Um, it's far too short. I don't know why it's so short. It's really weird. Uh, so let's just make that um, a bit longer. Okay. Alignment. Let's take it down in the rear. And let's just try that little change. Uh, but I just think there's too much power for this car, to be honest. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to hit this spot on, because I don't tune cars with this much power. I thought it'd be a lot easier than this. I'm not going to lie. I just thought, oh, 100, um, 1,000 horsepower. I could just, um, I could just, um, I literally just not tune it, and there'll be enough power. But I guess <laughs> it's a little bit different from that. But I I'm slowly getting control of this car now. I'm tr just trying not to touch the throttle. Because when I touch the throttle, I just know that I'm dead. Like... I know throttle is needed to go forwards, but fuck it. Don't have to go forwards, sir. Oh, I've really misjudged that. Yeah, just come through here like a boss. Now, one thing you will notice, I have turned off the points. Because uh, obviously there's normally points that come up um, as you're drifting, right in the middle of your screen. And it was starting to get very annoying. I know it, some people like to drift for points, etc. Uh, but it gets very annoying, so... I took that off. One thing that I don't think is helping right now is this rain. Like, obviously rain, you get less grip, and with this car, I've got no chance. Um, I'm going to take the tire pressures right now. I think I'm going to have to do it, uh, just to try and get con some control into this car, and see if that helps. I really, I suppose I was squeezing him off the road, like, I can't really complain. Okay, that feels a lot better now. Obviously, I'm hardly touching the throttle. I'm just let, let I'm just like dabbing the throttle, just letting the car control itself. Uh, it feels a lot better, a lot more controllable on the wheel. That is. We're chucking mad skids right now. This is insane getting control into this car now. I think it's more me learning the way of drifting cars this powerful. I think that's more kind of the way it's gone. Obviously I'm trying not to throttle it, but obviously there's times when you do have to throttle it like back then when I wasn't gonna actually make the corner so that is What? How how did it get that far sideways? Absolutely insane. But yeah, it feels, it feels very stable. If this had a lot less power, I think this car would be very, very, very good. But obviously with less power, you're not going to get this tyre spin. So maybe you'd have to have the tyre pressures a bit higher, which obviously makes it a little bit more unstable. But with this sort of power, you can have those tyre pressures very low. Try and get a big contact on the floor. And I'm starting to get this car now, especially with it raining as well. It's, it's kind of coming to me. Um, I haven't really done a big mistake in a while. Just as I say that, I do that, uh, obviously, because the commentators, um, the commentators, um, what do you call it? Curse. The commentators curse. Yeah. Okay, so this 2JZ is sounding absolutely amazing right now in my ears. Uh, it might not sound as good on. Uh, the video but it's sounding pretty good so I don't know what to do with this car I'm trying to think of ways to get this power under control <laughs> um, but all you, I can think is just tire pressures, camber, just lower those down try and get as much contact on the floor as we can um, I think upgrading the tires has really helped uh, one thing I, I'm getting good control of the car here so maybe my tune is pretty much pretty much there to be honest. Um, I think it was more me adjusting to a car with this much power. I'm hardly pressing the throttle. Uh, just as I do that I hit a motorbike and it fucks me up. But I'm hardly hitting the pedal. I think, I think that was the main thing. I kind of just drove out of the hub and I was just like yeah let's just floor it and then I was like oh I'm spinning. <laughs> I 
I'm spinning! So yeah, don't know what to do here. Um, should we... I think obviously when the rain stops, you're going to get a little bit more grip. Um, so I don't really want to change it to be honest. Um, I'm controlling the car in the rain. And I think that's what we've got to aim to do. Um, so I think it's about spot on and when we come out of the rain, when it starts getting a little bit more drier, we're going to have that little bit more grip that could help us. Because I was thinking about taking the tyre pressures down a bit more, but how many cars? How many cars? Uh, but obviously taking that down, um, when it gets to when it gets to daytime, it's going to be a little bit... Obviously it can't be too grippy because we've got over a thousand horsepower, but just got a feeling that it will just be a little bit too much. Um, so I, I'm thinking, of, I think we've got the nail on the head here. I'm slowly learning how to drift this car. That's one thing I will say. When you do, if you do um, copy this tune, you will have to learn the car. It's a lot of power uh, compared to my normal cars. I normally run about 400 horsepower, so to go up to a thousand horsepower, it's a big step. Um, so I do apologise if it's not the best, but I'm controlling it quite well. I don't know how it would go on the controller though, that is one thing, because uh, obviously on the wheel you get a little bit more stability, but on the controller it might be a little bit more unpredictable with this power, so check it out, let me know how you go with this um, 1000 horsepower, I'd like to know your, your feedback as well, or maybe maybe um, maybe some advice of tuning 1000 horsepower cars maybe, um, so yeah. I think that's going to be about it. I don't feel like changing this car to be honest. It feels about fine. Um, I wouldn't use this as a tandem car. It's a bit too much power. Um, but maybe for a fun car to like drift around the roads in like this. Um, I think it could be absolutely insane. So that was that. I'm going to sit right here. And I'm going to upload this tune. Onto the storefront for you guys to download. Uh, if you do not want to copy it. And you're lazy like me. <laughs> so what you want to do. Um, to download the tune, you want to press like the the back button, and you want to go to load setup. Press that button again, and then you can go to creator here. Type in my game tag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube, and it should pop up hopefully. So let's upload it right now, so you guys um, know it's up and fine and gravy. So yeah, there's a lot of power, so do be warned, it's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna call it drift just so. Um, you guys know which one it is and that is getting saved and uploaded so hope you guys enjoyed this little bit different with compared to my other builds um, a lot more power and this was aiming for for this little countdown because it's what you guys want I don't I don't care that like, I'm gonna try and tune the car to how you guys uh, want it to look so that's good Two Jay-Z running a thousand horsepower GT86 we done it we made it so I'll see you guys next time.